Hey, what's going on guys? So, welcome to episode 20 of my Iron Man series. I decided since it's episode 20 that I was going to do a, over a half hour long episode. I do a lot of quests and uh, I gotta knock a lot of stuff out on my account that I've been meaning to do. I also started doing some bossing as well, which is pretty awesome. So, if you do enjoy that and you enjoy the half hour episode, make sure you drop me a like. Let's try and hit 30 likes on this. That will be the best ratings I've got so far. I think 30 likes for over a 30 minute long video is totally fair. So, I do hope you enjoy it. I hope you drop me a like, and as always, guys, I hope you have a great day, and peace. I just realized I'm already almost out of prayer points, which kind of sucks to be starting this off with. Not enough prayer. Oh, well. I don't think I'll need quite two prayer potions, because I do have proselyte, but I'm not sure. Alrighty, so. So far, so... Alright. So far, alright. Now, let's try this. I don't think this is going to work out too well. Oh, I hit. But is that just one lucky time? That's the question. Alright, so apparently it looks like I'm actually going to be running out of prayer, and I'm still on this first dragon, just because it's so slow. Please just drop rune limbs. Rune mace. I guess it could be worse. It's an alkable, right? But uh, I'm a little disappointed how long that took me. Anyways, I guess I'm going to go do a couple more trips. I don't know if I said this, but I have quite a few prayer potions still, and I have 110 Raynars, so I'm fine for prayer potions, so I'm not really too worried about that. Alrighty, round two at the dragons. There we go. Oh, of course I like start beating him down at the end there. Another rune mace. Oh, why couldn't it just be rune limbs, man? That'd be so much better. It really would be. Yeah, darn it. Oh well. I'm still just looking. It's a common drop that I'm looking for. It's not even like a hard drop to get. I'm just looking for a common, normal, basic rune limbs drop, right? Alrighty, there is another steel dragon deaded. Runite bolts. Those are those aren't even. Uh, I just want. I just want the, the the common drop. Common drop game. Come on. Stop making this so difficult on me. Rune javelins. Fan freaking useless. Yes, I killed it. Oh my god, that was getting so close because I'm entirely out of food. Why the emerald game? I. Just, it's not even a rare drop. The part that you guys don't really see is I've done several kills off camera camera as well and it's not even a rare drop it's like a 1 in 4 drop rate and I've killed like 20 of them what the hell and not only that but it takes like 2 and a half or 3 or 4 minutes to kill just one because it's so slow it's just driving me freaking nuts man okay my past like out of my past 20 hits I've hit about 3 ones and he keeps regenerating health so I have not taken him like below 9 health and it's been like 3 minutes now Oh, and then he finally regains one health right as I hit a nine. And he just had to breathe so much fire and take my health down so much. Like, oh my god, this has just been the most annoying kill so far. Why does it keep hitting fives every time? Ah! It could one hit me now if I mess up my prayer for luck. Stop and just die. It's regained two health back. And now I'm going to hit a one when I finally hit again. And I'm about to run out of prayer. Thank you for just dying. What do I get? Rune limbs, please. Blood runes. I don't want blood runes game. Another dragon dead. And I get blood runes again. Yes, exactly what I wanted. Thank you very much for that game. I do appreciate it. Alrighty. Another dragon dead. Soul runes. Come on. It's like getting to the point where I just don't expect it now. Which is ridiculous. I don't know why I'm not expecting a common drop. It's common. Okay, so this is going to sound absolutely ridiculous. But I just lost a clip, and that clip was me getting the rune limbs. I know. Who would have thought that of all the clips that I would lose, it would be that one? It's because I was at Hannah's house while I was recording that. And I was recording my voice on my phone, and I was recording it on her game, on a game capture on her uh, computer. And then somewhere in the midst of emailing it to myself, I've lost the clip. I've lost the voice recording. So fortunately, I lost me actually getting rune limbs throughout all that which is a really sad thing but i finally got rune limbs it took me like literally 25 kills or something to get these stupid freaking rune limbs i know that's absolutely ridiculous uh but we have them now um they're in the bank so just thought i'd let you guys know that really sorry i lost the recording i i don't know what the hell happened and uh, a little bummed out by that but yeah i got the rune limbs so we are golden great way to start off this uh pyrofiends task i'm just a few kills in i think 
I got 147. So yeah, I'm 17 kills in. Already got a clear scroll. Super awesome. Don't think I'm gonna get anything of it, but maybe I'll get a couple like. As far as I am see from like a from medium clue scrolls, the best thing you can ask for is like a god page or maybe two adamant plate bodies that can high elk for 15k or whatever. But uh, I doubt I'll get that. But you know, you never know. Fingers crossed. All right. So in order to get snake skin chaps, I need to do the Taibu wanna clean up mini game and kill the snakes that jump out of the bushes at you uh, so then I can make them I need to get 12 snake skins from those snakes that attack me during the mini game I can't actually do the mini game yet because I haven't completed uh, jungle cleanup so I'm just gonna go do uh, uh, what the heck's it called or like jungle potion that's what the quest is called and I'm gonna go finish that real quick well start and finish it. it should take me a few minutes is there something wrong with my character oh I see searching okay so yeah, uh, I'll be down back when I'm done that quest. All right, jungle potion is done. Now I can go do the Taibu wanna clean up mini game. Oh my goodness, I've been at this for like literally 30 minutes and I get the first snake. One down, 11 more to go, yeehaw. All right, I'm giving up. It's literally been close to two hours and I have three snake hides. So that's just such a waste of time. So I'm going to go figure out another way to do it. I think what I'm going to end up doing now is just going and doing uh, all of the quests and doing Cabin Fever and going all the way to Mostly Harmless to do it. Uh, I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous, and it kind of is, truth be told. But I really want to just get this done. Well, I, I, like, I don't want to drop this medium clue scroll, and I do want to get snake hides anyways, because it's kind of useful to get extra snakeskin booties, so... Uh, it's just going to be a full day of questing, I guess. Alright, so this is going to be a pretty close fight. I didn't actually realize that being down here totally drains your prayer. So I'm all out of prayer points. I'm diseased. And I got bronze arrows. <laughs> oh, actually, wow, I hit a 9. A little bit surprised, to be honest. Okay, here we go. Boom. Zogre Flesh Eaters is completed. I did not get any form of anything. I've never actually made a crossbow before. I know, so many things I've never done. Okay, boom. And I finally have my runite crossbow. Just thought I'd record that. I'm also gonna do a whole bunch of uh, herb lore while I'm here because I have 110 Rainar weeds and I was elking of some of my magic longbows. There we go, I elk some of them. Still got 750 nature runes, but I got 150k out of that or there, but some, something. I got quite a bit, so um, while I was doing that, I was collecting snape grass, because it's quite a trek to go collect snape grass, so I was alking while I was doing that. So I'm going to do some herb lore. Alright, about to get uh, 43 herb lore, which is great. I think I'll also be able to get 44. Which I believe will give me access to irrit weeds, or no, no, I can already search them. But at 45, I know I can uh, officially make uh, super attack potions, and that will be good for Slayer. 40, wait, 44 blower, which is also pretty good. Harlander tar, never gonna make that. Yeah, that's about that. All right, I've just collected some more herblore secondaries. I'm actually gonna go do another load of toad's legs pretty slow and boring and I don't really need agili agility potions it's just I have all these toad flaxes in my bank so I might as well put them towards herb lore experience so okie dokie and here is 45 herb lore there we go super attack potions which is pretty sweet I think I have a few irrits in the bank so I'll make those as well the first super attack potions of the account basically and I am actually gonna get 45 uh Herblor of this, which is, or sorry, 46 Herblor, which is going to be pretty awesome. And, oops, we're just about there. There we go, 46 Herblor. That does not get me anything special. Oh, well. Got a couple more uh, super attack potions to make. Uh, but so far, I'm going to be pretty stocked on super attack potions, which I'm pretty excited about. Because, you know, having super, super potions when you're doing Slayer. It's going to speed everything up so much for me if I'm meleeing tasks. And also, I'll finally have my rune crossbow. So stoked about that. So let's see how many I have. 44 super attack potions. Super awesome. I can't wait for super strength as well. Oh, I'm going to be just... It's just going to be amazing. Okay, so the next thing I'll be needing to do is get my prayer up. Because I do want to get 
uh, the snake skin traps, even though I kind of detoured here and did a whole bunch of uh, herb lore. I want to get those snake skin traps so I can finish off that clue scroll. Uh, I don't really mind going to all this work to doing it because I'm going to end up doing all this eventually. Uh, the next quest I need to do is rum deal. I'm so happy I've already got the farming and slayer requirements like just done, especially farming because if you have to grind out 40 farming and you're like level 25 farming, that can take like a week. So I'm happy about that. I can get 47 per prayer today, no problem. Uh, and then other than that, I'm good to go and do rum deal. So that's going to be pretty sweet. Going to go do some ectofunctus, which is not very sweet. So they pulled for this to be com made completely automatic or like automated so then you don't have to use your bones on the hopper wait wind the bone grinder wait empty the bin repeat which i'm gonna have to do for the next 130 odd bones or more than that actually then however many i have so it was pulled that they're gonna change this but unfortunately i'm doing it today instead of after next thursday <laughs> when the update comes live, which kind of sucks. Kind of makes me almost want to wait for it, but at the same time, I personally voted no for it because I know that I have all these bones in my bank myself. And I feel like if everything in old school RuneScape becomes automated, what's the difference between this and RuneScape 3? Because that's the thing everybody hits about RuneScape 3 is it's just easy scape, right? So I don't get why everybody's like pulling for everything to be overpowered everything to be automated don't have to do this you get these free things every day like it's, it's like people are recreating rs3 and they don't even realize it in these pools and it actually like drives me nuts to watch okay so i finished making all the bone meal i did it with all my dragon bones i did it with the org bones holy crap look at that so wow the org bones get 560 inch there's 44 prayer just smacked out right there uh nope ghost dispel Oh, son of a gun. Alright, I need to go bang. And go get my ghost bee. Well, but anyways, yeah, I'm probably going to get quite a few levels here. Whoops, totally missed it. Don't know how, but, uh, well, actually, I do know how because I was sneezing. But, uh, that is 45 uh, prayer. Give me those tokens. Thank you. Pray, pray, pray. La, da, da, da. Do, 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 do. Carry on. Alrighty, and do, 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 do. 40. Wait. Nope, maybe 46. Nice. Ooh, retribution. Nope, never mind. I want redemption. Oh my goodness, why do I keep doing that? <laughs> I want uh, redemption, basically, because I'll be helpful for any circumstances where you're, you're low on health. And 47 prayer right there, which is awesome because that is what we need for whatever that quest I'm planning to do is rum deal. So yeah, that's all we need, but I still got some more left. I got 53 left actually, so I'm going to definitely get to 48. Not sure if I'll get to 49, mm, prob no, I don't think I'll quite make 49, but it'll definitely be close, that's for sure. Oops, she used that there. Okay. I wish training prayer was actually this fast without having to do all the annoying parts at the start, but there we go, that's 48 prayer. That has crumbled and I didn't realize it. That's unfortunate. All right, so this is the last bones. I have 714 experience away. I think I get 7,000 experience for completing rum deal. So I'm obviously gonna get uh, up to 49, almost actually level 50, but not quite. But uh, yeah, that's the fastest 38K per experience I think I've ever gained, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna go do rum deal now, I believe. All right, there we go. That is rum deal completed. 7k prayer, 7k farming, and 7k fishing. That is pretty nice. So there's 49 prayer. Now use redemption. 42 farming. Now grow curry trees. Probably never gonna grow curry tree, but then again, ooh, look at that, almost 43 farming. That's just one farm run, and I'll get that as well, but I'm happy to have 49 prayer, because that will come in handy at some point, for sure. Uh, other than that, uh, time to go do pirate's treasure, and then I can do cabin fever. Not that you guys really care, but I just broke the 101 quest points uh, mark, which is pretty sweet. I just realized that I did that quest with my entire cash stack on me. And like, I went AFK when I was uh, waiting for the farming bit to grow. I, I totally just like left my computer and just left my character sitting there. I'm like, yeah, it's not a big deal if I die. It's just like, whatever. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to, but I wasn't really worried about dying. 
Uh, now that I realized I was carrying 353k my entire cash stack, now that would have sucked a little bit more. Oh, never mind for all spade. All right, let's try that again. Here we go. Nope. Here. Right there. Maybe. Bam. What? Dude, I didn't know what I have to do. Oh, there we go. Okay. Quest done. 103 quest points. Very nice. Open the casket. <gasps> oh my god, it's a pile of garbage. I mean, couldn't it have at least given me a gold bar so that I could have made, like, an emerald ring or something useful out of this? Seriously. Whoops, just realized I wasn't recording. I need 50 smithing to do cabin fever. Besides that, I can do it. I just need 50 smithing. So what I'm going to go do right now is high elk a whole bunch of my maple longbows, and I'm going to go uh, mine some iron. Because uh, I have a whole bunch of coal. Well, not a whole bunch, but quite a bit of coal. Um, and some iron. I'm going to make this into steel bars. And I think I need 1,200 steel bars. So I need 600 iron ore, and I need 1,200 coal. That's a shit ton. Fuck me, man. Alright, so I think uh, what I'm going to have to do to mine iron is I'm going to start Recipe for Disaster. I'm sure everybody knows that quest. It's kind of legendary. And um, I am going to do Bank in the Underground Cellar and Mine in the Dorgish and Con Mines. I think that's probably the fastest way for me to mine, even though I'll only be able to get 27 per inventory. I'm not going to end up alking, I don't think. I was doing that earlier, but I don't feel like it anymore. So... I am going to go do first part of Recipe for Disaster. Alrighty, so that should be just about possibly. Here you go. Yeah, 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 yeah there we go. First step to the um, uh, 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 Recipe for Disaster. Oh, right. Oh, it's the best cutscene in all of RuneScape, so I'm gonna obviously not gonna let you guys watch it. Oh my god, it's finally done. Holy shit, that took about seven minutes. Now, can I go do, use the, um, Kaleomancer's chest? Maybe? There we go, now I can use it. Woohoo! Alright, so this is why I wanted to do that. Yes, I don't care. Go on. There we go, now I go talk to this idiot over here. He shows me the way through mine. Oops, no, right, no, I didn't want that one. I want number two. Let's try that again. Little cutscene, and I'm basically at mines already so that is about the fastest way to get mining iron ore so awesome all right so change of plans I decided that instead of getting uh one sorry I was actually mistaken by the number that I told you guys I told you is 600 I was <laughs> incorrect it's 1200 it's actually double what I told you guys because I I thought 1200 and then I thought 1200 coal so that must mean 600 iron no it is 1200 iron, or 1200 iron, and 2400 coal. So, in order to mine 3.6k iron and coal total, that's going to take me a very, 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 very long time, obviously. So, instead, I'm just going to do iron ore the entire way iron bars and iron ore. I'm going to make them into. Uh, maybe iron knives, maybe iron darts, we'll see. I pr maybe iron darts, because uh, it'll give me the same amount of smithing experience, but then I can uh, also get fletching experience uh, from putting feathers on them. If you're wondering why I'm so zoomed in, it's just for the clicking on the actual ore. But yeah, basically what I'm going to do now is, instead of make doing 1200 iron ore and 2400 coal because that is so much when you think about it. instead i'm just gonna do 1700 iron ore and 1700 iron bars oh apparently i just got 52 mining didn't think i was i guess obviously i was gonna get level i just didn't realize i was that close so nice uh my friend iron star here smart guy that he is told me that i can actually use the uh arty cape and it has a teleport that teleports you really close to um Oops. They can teleport me to the uh, 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 iron mines in Arty, and then I can bank with like a ring of dueling. So I'm definitely going to do that. That's going to be much, much faster than what I'm doing right now. So thank you very much to him. I didn't actually realize that that was a thing. So sweet. I'm going to go do a faster way now. Although I'm going to have to do the Arty Diaries first, which is not going to be a big problem. But here we go. Apparently I get that. I'm obviously going to be using that on Herblore. I don't care what you have to say. Two pints. Ooh, 2.5k. That's pretty good. Equip that, and I believe I can 
teleport there. Ooh, that's a pretty nice little teleportion. Or emote. What? Oh, okay, there they are. Those are the um, iron ore. So yeah, I'm gonna teleport there, and I'm gonna ring a dueling back to uh, uh, whatever the hell it's called, Castle Wars. Castle Wars. Yeah. So um, I did not think that went through though, because I don't have a teleport to get over here. Home teleport. Fingers crossed. Yes. All right, so I'm gonna need some more rings and dueling, so I'm gonna make five here. Oh, I totally missed that. I didn't even realize it. Oh, no, I didn't miss it. I'll take it back. 54 uh, mining. I thought I clicked away too quickly, but I didn't. So nice. I skipped 53 mining just because whatever. And uh, I'm still going to get another mining level, I believe. So I think out of mining all this iron, I'm going to get 55 mining, which is pretty sweet. Uh, other than that, back to mining. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. There's 55 mining. Holy crap. All right, so I'm officially out of dueling rings, but a magpie impling actually just flew by, so I'm gonna get an uh, impling jarn and that. I'm gonna get Falador teleport runes, so I can go make more uh, 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 uh more rings and dueling. Here, where the heck did that magpie impling go? I think it was flying this way when I last saw it. Oh, fine. Oh, that's probably it over there. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There we go. You're gonna just absolutely ruin your day. Just kidding. You just ruined mine. Alrighty. So with the coal that I have and the iron I have and the steel bars that I already have, that should be more than enough to get me to 50 smithing. I'm gonna start out by using up all my coal, making it into steel bars as well. And um, then I'm going to make the rest of that into iron bars. So I'm also going to need to make some ruby, like, uh, what, are they, what are they called? Ring, rings of forging for all the iron bars. But uh, I'll do that after I do the steel ones. Well, there's 40 smithing. That is one of many levels I shall be receiving. Not today, but probably tomorrow. And probably not tomorrow either, because it's going to take me a long ass time to smith all this. <laughs> All right, all the steel bars have been uh, smelted. 42 smithing. Oh my goodness. 1,000 more iron bars to go. And that's excluding the fact that I still need to smith them all. 43. 44 smithing. All right, so this is the last of my iron bars. I believe that's going to leave me with about 1.5k iron bars and uh, close to 300 steel bars. I'm going to turn those all into dart tips and then buy feather packs uh all in all that should leave me with about 18,000 darts and i'm gonna fletch all those that should also get me 70 fletching or close to it i think uh so that's gonna be super awesome because i'm gonna make a u long bows which is gonna be great um but i want to turn them all into darts because darts are very efficient i get fletching experience once i turn them into darts and i have a feeling i'll probably kill zelra eventually and i'll probably get a magic fang and which uses darts so if I have 18k darts sat in the bank waiting for that, that's something I don't have to grind out later on down the road. So there we go, 1.4k and almost 300 steel bars. So it is now off to, uh, what the heck's it called? Rock to go smith all those into darts. And that's going to take me a long time. 45 smithing. 46 smithing. Alrighty, there's 47 smithing. My friend's telling me iron darts is such a waste. I don't agree with him personally, but whatever. All right, there we go. That's 49 smithing. Apparently, I can make bullseye lanterns. What a time to be alive. In just a second, I will be getting 50 smithing. I can't believe that's only level 50. I mean, this has taken me three days. This is a, another new day. Uh, and uh, I just can't believe how long that took. It felt like... That felt like a trek, and that is just to do cabin fever. And I don't know if you guys recall, but the whole reason why I've gone in this now, like, four-day grind... Is just so I can complete that clue scroll in my bank. That's the only reason. It's just to complete that one little freaking clue scroll. Oh my god. I like I can't even what am I even doing? Alright, so this is gonna cost a lot of money. How much does that raise? Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna hop worlds every time that I buy, but I'm going to be buying sixteen or seventeen thousand feathers, and I decided I'm just gonna make these all into darts now. Oh really? So now I oh that means I need to spam click, okay. Is there some, like, no, there wouldn't be some, hmm, okay. There we go, that's how we're getting our fletching up. It's gonna be pretty, pretty fast, actually, I think. This is very clicking intensive. <laughs> and not very fast, either. 
Well, I mean, technically, experience-wise, it's extremely fast. As I can almost, almost cons consistently do two per tick, two per game tick, but... Yeah, this is going to take a while. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Don't envy me. Alrighty, so that is going to be the end of the... <laughs> Uh, iron darts. Glad I don't have that many steel darts to do, because, like, holy crap, man, my wrist is so sore. Alrighty. Sorry if you can still hear that person outside, but as... This is so fast. This is literally, like, 600,000 fletching experience in, per hour. Like, if I really get going with it... All done. So, I, uh, did get 70 fletching out of that, so I can now make... You longbows, so I might actually just cut some of those while I'm here, because I have, like, 3k... Let's check real quick how much I have. Oh, it's so nice having all those darts. Gonna be really good for training my range. But yeah, I got 3k U logs there. 3.4k, really. So I'm gonna fletch some of those because I have homework to do. Uh, so, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna be doing more fletching. Alright, this is going to be 71 fletching. This is actually gonna be the. Ooh, wow, I make dragon stone. Or dragon bolts, basically. That's kinda cool. But this is gonna be my last inventory I'm gonna do. I just really want to knock out this quest now. Alrighty, so that should be the end of Cabin Fever. A lot of long cutscenes, a lot of kind of like boringness, but whatever. 7k smithing experience, 7k crafting experience, and 7k agility experience. That's all very, very good. And uh, yeah, that gets me 54 agility, which is pretty sweet. Because uh, I was so close to ag an agility level, I just I was 59 experience. That's like basically one obstacle in an obstacle course. And I would have got the level, but it's just too lazy to. Uh, I'm gonna go talk to him again. No, build each, build each, build each. There we go, 10k, nice. So that is pretty sweet. I'm gonna go to the bank over here, and uh, I'm gonna go slay some snakes to get those snake skin traps for the clue scroll. Finally, it's taken me five days of grinding. Like I'm not kidding, getting the prayer, mining everything, all the, all these, doing all the quests, ogre, flesh eaters, pirates. Uh, mining smithing smelting it took me five days and i'm finally at this point now where i can actually carry on with this clue scroll and go back to my final slayer task before i can unlock broad bolts and then once i unlock broad bolts i, I have my rune crossbow in the bank then we can go kill some demi bosses this is what the whole grind has been for and it's finally about to be done here we go we're finally killing these snakes for the snake skin chops okay boom those are all done. You might notice I have more than 12. It's because I'm going to make the chaps. And I also want to make a bandana. Because snakeskin bandana is better than a coif. So now I have a better ranging helmet. After 5 days of grinding guys. We finally have the snakeskin chaps. We can finally carry on with this level 2 clue scroll. And then we can finally finish. Watch me just get the absolute crappiest reward. I mean 5 days of grinding. And it's just going to like... Oh, be so annoyed if I just get a crap reward. Is this the reward? It's not. Alright, this should be the end of the clue. This is the fifth step, and I get an absolute load of garbage. Five days went into an adamant pickaxe and two adamant full helms and five purple sweets. My god. Alrighty, there we go. That's awesome. That is 69 range achieved. Feel free to go leave whatever comments you want down below. Curl all 69. Yeah, 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 I get it. Uh, anyways, it's also funny enough 69,000 experience to 70 range. And at 70 range, I'll be able to use that uh, that crystal shield, or that crystal, sorry, crystal bow that I have in my bank, which will be very good for doing things like the wilderness demi bosses because it's, it's just so accurate and it's got such a high like damage output. So that's going to be really, really good as well. So after several days from starting this task, this is the last pyrophene I need to kill, which is great. Uh, that will be also our 50th task that we've completed, so we're going to get a big bonus out of that. Um, which is kind of too bad that I get it now, there we go. So I got 150 points from that, that is so many. I only needed 10 points to unlock broad bolts but i get the whole big 150 point bonus which is good because that gets me that much closer um to being able to make things like slayer rings and that kind of stuff so i'm gonna go unlock broad bolts 
I'm gonna go buy some unfinished broad bolts. I'm actually gonna go buy more feathers again. I, I should have bought more earlier today. I totally didn't think about that when I was buying them. Uh, but I'm gonna go buy more feathers and then I'm gonna fletch myself some broad bolts. And then we can finally, finally use that rune crossbow that we have sitting in our bank. 169 cockatrices. I'm actually kind of happy with that. I was kind of hoping to get into the cockatrices uh, task soon because they drop uh, medium clue scrolls and a lot of limpwort roots, and limpwort roots are very helpful. Um, as for the Slayer rewards, we don't want to do that. We want to unlock Broader Fletching. So, confirm. Done. It's been purchased for 300 points. We have 140 points left. Alright, buying 10 unfinished Broadbolt packs, which is pretty sweet. There we go. Oh god, I can't click. Anyways. I'm just going to buy 1,000 for now. That cost me 55k, so that's a pretty big dent in the cash stack. Now I'm going to go buy 1,000 feathers. And I'm going to go put those together. And then I'll have a thousand broad bolts basically. And I can go uh, into the wilderness and go slay myself some of that demi boss. Whatever its name is. The Chaos Fanatic. Woohoo! Really? Making bolts is the exact same as making darts. And 1k broad bolts has been fletched. Time to go ruin the day for some. Uh, Demi boss, what the heck's his name again? Chaos Fanatic. Awesome. This is actually the first time right here that I've even wielded this that wielded this rune crossbow, so that's kinda cool. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you don't really care, but there we go. Nice. I'm gonna see you in the wilderness with my first uh, Chaos Fanatic kill. Alright, so this should be much better damage wise. Also this time I remembered to bring some proselyte, which will help me with uh lasting longer prayer wise, so there we go, now he's dead. <laughs> Split Bart Body, yes, that's awesome. That is actually um, one of the drops I did want from him, so I'm really happy to get that. Now I just need the Split Bark legs, and I have a full set of Split Bark in the bank. So just one more Split Bark item. Alright, there's another Chaos Fanatic uh, deaded. That sucks, I only got uh, 1.5k. I can't actually stay for another trip because I don't have enough uh, Broad Bolts. I'm kind of surprised how quickly those went through, but I guess I spend a lot of time hitting zeros and whatnot, so... I decided I'm going to make some a few enchanted emerald bolts. Where the heck are my emeralds? Right there. And uh, I'll enchant them because they poison him, basically. And that way I'll have a um, just a little bit of extra damage going on. All I need to do is just hit on him until he's poisoned. And then I'll just be a little bit of extra damage. Alrighty, that is one dead. 50 blood runes. That is all, all right, I guess. Alrighty, that's another one deaded. Ring of life. That is unfortunate although actually I think I can uh, dive a ring oh, I do all right another one killed and I get a chaos talisman and that is another one dead one is on Zami alrighty that is another guy killed a shark really there we go that's gonna be the last one I'm gonna kill I think oh pure essence that's actually a good drop nice um I think that's pretty fun. It, it goes to show that I definitely am. Oh, it disappeared. <laughs> uh, I definitely am capable of doing some bossing on my account now. Uh, unfortunately, the Chaos Fanatic is not the most entertaining boss, and it doesn't have the best drops. <laughs>